Alright, this box is really heavy. This is a new bike and this is the Run Deer Attack 10. Massive frame, motorcycle type front fork, a lot of travel, so big light. Hopefully it's a powerful bike. So let's take this out and see how it looks like, how it performs. So here's the packaging. Very clean, very nicely done. And here's the bike. Nice packaging. Put this aside. Well packed, look at this. Nicely wrapped. Good protective uh, thick foam. So this is how the bike looks without the seat. This frame is super cool. And there's zero welds. So only have to install the seat, just finish the front tire and we're ready to ride. Here's the bike fully assembled and this frame design is very unique, beefy and massive, army sandy cool color. We have a shorter axle to axle span and front light with this massive panel, it's impressive. When it comes to design, there's a lot going on here. This bike is the first design frame that doesn't have any welds. This design is similar to Anyoki AQ177 and A8 Pro Max when it comes to size, with this massive wide new look. Just slightly shorter axle to axle. What is unique here, that I haven't seen in any other e-bike so far, is the tech used to make this frame. This brand is using integrated stamping technique, featuring a magnesium alloy frame and aluminum alloy triangle. Front and mid frame are held in screws and the rear triangle it's all one piece, super clean, smooth lines. This model looks like a hammer of the e-bikes, lifted with 13.7 inches of ground clearance, long travel front fork suspension, built like an off-road tank. Specs, the battery. It is UL certified, which is very important, and we have here 20 amp hour or 960 watt hour capacity, and it is 48 volt system. And we have here on the bottom a switch on off the key lock, and we have this lever here that allows you to remove this battery. The battery mounts from on the bottom. The motor, it's a Befang rear hub 750 watt, maximum power delivery 1200 watts. The bike weighs 88 pounds, max load capacity 350 pounds. It is UL certified, posted a website, but there's no stickers anywhere in the package or the frame. The bike waterproof level, it's IP65. So the bike is fully charged. Hope you can see the screen here and I didn't remove this plastic. Fifth level assist. Let's see what we can do. Brakes are good. Suspension in the front, really soft, a lot of travel. Now, this thing shows here preload on both sides. I think they're fake, they don't do anything. I can hear a click, but not much change in the feel. Very soft, a lot of travel. And this uh, short uh, handlebar really makes it feel like a motorcycle. up really fast actually without pedaling pretty pretty good yeah very nimble enough travel in the back also the the seat is very comfortable feels like a chopper like a one of those classic motorcycles very short handlebar not sure why we have this, we should have a horn. Uh, the thing looks so massive, so aggressive, so cool, and we have this thing. Yeah, we can pedal, not really super comfortable, but it's doable. Picks up speed even faster. With pedaling, it picks up speed even faster. As always, midday in New York City, there's traffic all around. Let's uh, get to Central Park and uh, see what we can do off-road. Now every day, New York City traffic is getting busier and busier. It's more cars every time. It's so much harder to ride. Now the city officials are looking to charge a driving fee starting at $23 a day. And I'm not sure if that's only for the day or if it's only to enter. And if you enter a second time, if it will be a second charge, I'm not sure about that. But the city officials are looking to reduce the number of cars because it's getting out of control. It's so much chaos, people everywhere, cars everywhere. 
you have traffic, you can't pretty much move and you can see. Having a scooter, having an e-bike makes a big difference. Today, in this case, testing this e-bike, I can get from 40th Street East Side to Central Park in like seven to 10 minutes. Very fast, very easy, and it's very convenient. Also, in the long run, it's really cheap. You only buy the bike once, and after that, commuting for years to come will be so much more savings. This bike has strong acceleration, picks up speed really fast, up to 23, 25 miles an hour, and from there slowly pulling to top speed. Very torquey, shorter wheelbase, makes it feel very maneuverable in tight spaces and tight corners, feels very nimble and so easy to handle. Range. Weather is changing, it rains a lot, and it's getting really cold. It was around 55 degrees in Fahrenheit during the test. I weighed 330 pounds, and I rode the bike in a maximum speed level on throttle alone. The test was done in two days. First day I covered around 18.8 miles, and the battery was still showing about 80 to 85%. Still surprisingly high. By mistake, I accidentally, you know, stopped the test, so I had to continue second day. And uh, the following day I covered 12 miles in range. At this point, on the second day, the battery dropped much, much faster than the first day, covering 30.8 miles in the range, which is outstanding for my height, weight, and this cold weather. Also, this is not a light bike, and stopping at the lights in the city, being most of the time in the traffic, reduced the range drastically. If you ride outside the city, you'll get so much more range. Very clean design, big screen, colored, so you can see very easily. It's super sunny and finally warm. And look how nice the screen is. You can easily, you know, read all the information. I have removed the plastic even, and it's still, you know, very easy to, you know, to see all of it. Graphics. You have five levels of assist. And I change different color. I like when it turns to red and four and five. And we have this ring bell. I wish I had a horn because the bike looks so aggressive, so sporty. It looks like a military, you know, vehicle. And uh, this ring bell doesn't really fit this design. It requires here a very aggressive, very loud horn. They should offer this in camouflage. That would be so much cooler. Nice uh, console, three buttons operation. Here we have some stats. I cover so, so far 19 miles in range and the battery, it's not even half. This is really insane. Standard leather, you know, grips. And we have this uh, hardware security, which is really nice. We have hydraulic. These brakes and this levers, you see them on the models like Waki, Aniwoki, good stuff. We have the same uh, CIS index shifter, uh, which is fine. Uh, I would like to have, I would like to see here something like Shimano Alivio or even like, you know, higher end uh, stuff will be so cool. And we have half twist throttle and the same leather hardware, you know, grip. Expansion, we have this uh, two preload knobs, but they're not actually do anything. I think they're just fake just for design. The suspension is actually really good. Look how much travel here. Not much oil on this side. Actually pretty clean and very soft. A little bit more oil on the next one. And we have these brakes. The same design as Magura. Very thick, very massive brakes. I actually like them. And we have 160 mil rotors. I think uh, this is pretty enough. Um, for anything you're gonna do with this bike. But if you wanna upgrade and put the 180, that's easy to do. If you wanna go downhill and do something crazier. 20 by 4 inch knobby tires. And I like this uh, tan yellowish, you know, desert military color on the frame and matching, you know, wheels and the handlebars. Looks super cool. Seat. Now, I don't know how to explain this, but it is about three inches thickness, almost two inches and three quarters in the front. It's super soft and it is so comfortable. I did 20 miles so far in range. I think I showed you earlier. And this is the graphics when it powers on. Really cool. So I cover so far 19, almost 20 miles in range. And uh, it's extremely comfortable. Very soft. It feels like a custom seat and it's not. And I'm not sure if you can fit two people here, maybe smaller, two, two individuals. But for me, I can shift forth and back really comfortable, not really a pedaling bike for me because I'm 6'3", somebody under 6 feet will probably be able to, you know, to to use this, I'm just using the throttle and it's so much fun, it has a shorter wheelbase so it's very nimble, very quick acceleration, 0.25, really fast and really aggressive. 
The light looks massive with the panel wrapped around the fork, looks aggressive and the frame and fork width insinuates power and speed. Really cool design. The 750 watt Bafang motor is capable of much higher speeds and power delivery. Unfortunately, this bike is set up to give you the highest possible range at lower speeds and power delivery. At the base of the hill, I started with 24 miles an hour and gradually we're losing speed, but I'm still able to reach the top of the hill with 20 miles an hour, which is not bad at all, but if you're under 175 pounds, you should get more power delivery and higher performance on this model. Lights. Wow, this light is super bright, very wide and uh, throws really, really far. And let's check the rear light. And we have just notification light. We don't have a rear brake light here, which we should have at this price level. But the front light, it's excellent. Look at this front panel, super bright. I like this light a lot. Very powerful light, excellent output. If you're an off-road enthusiast and you like downhill or extreme off-roading, I would recommend going for the advanced option. You'll get upgraded front suspension with more travel, better rebound, more stability and higher handling. Also upgraded rear shock, which will make a big difference. For regular trails or city riding, this is the most comfortable e-bike. This seat is fantastic, with the suspension combined, makes up a really comfortable ride. Has more than enough power and it's super fun and nimble to ride daily. For roads outside the city, I would require a bit more power. I hope Run Deer offers this exact model in 1500 or 2000 watt option. Then this will be a killer all around e-bike. The link will be down below in the description box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.